somebody well quite a few people have been wanting me to look at this site for some reason and I was going to say a few things on it but I've just come I've just been looking at a channel called God Rules so I've been subscribed to for some time uh, and he's pointing yeah he's pointing people to a animal farm channel called Bright Insight it's basically like a channel like Vsauce for God's sake that type of thing and I, I I'm just at the point now people and I know many of you are feeling the same that going into YouTube nowadays is almost like picking a mainstream newspaper up you know you might take a look at the front cover turn the second page and then you just end up flicking through it all because you know it's full of shit and crap uh, and that's just basically what it feels like every single day there's nothing there anymore uh, but this thing and that video because it, it popped up and it said guess what's just been discovered something to do with Atlantis uh, but anyway I don't like mentioning his name but the first person that I saw to cover this was almost two years ago and it, it was Roger Spur right so it's not just been di discovered other channels may have piggybacked his work without mentioning him uh, but he was the first person that I saw it. Anyway, this is the Eye of Sahara. Uh, I've not looked into it, but it's meant to be about the same size of what Atlantis was, according to Plato. And look, I never get into writings from the past apart from the Bible. I just, I'm, I just don't go for any of it. I only go for what I can prove, what I can see. Right, but this is actually the clearest image of this thing that you will find. You know, that's not been coloured in and made to look like something. I don't know what it is. Uh, you know, I could argue that <clears throat> it looks like a bubble in some mud to me. Uh, it looks like a tree stump buried in mud. Uh, you know, I can't say it any more than that because I've not seen any images or videos from ground level. So I can't expand on it any further like the people that keep asking me to make a video on the Grand Canyon yeah you know I know that I have seen the same information what you're looking into now about five years ago there's nothing there uh, this thing I showed you this petrification this floor if, if you look at it I mean that you can basically find petrified woods that, that look like that why it's ended up like this I'm I don't know what it is, but it's something petrified, isn't it? It looks solidified almost. It's one or the other. It's some type of, it's either petrified wood or it's something like uh, at Mother Shitton's cave, you know, with the lime. The lime will t petrify everything. I'd like to take a closer look at that in person, right? Uh, this is an artifact that were floating around and again I mean this just looks like the exact same stuff the reason why I'm showing you this is on the next image is there something underneath this similar to what I'm going to show you maybe or is this just something that's embedded in this stuff that looks like something petrified it looks like petrified wood but it doesn't need to be okay uh, this thing here in Egypt I think it's Abu, Abu Sir uh, different images of this show you that it's it's petrified in the exact same way but it's not really that artifact that I'm looking at that's a top view of it because just off to the side of this thing is basically the the best example of ancient technology in physical form that you can hold in your hands that you will ever see in your life and it's, the, and it's, it's these things that mainstream science presenters being balls for draining blood and this and that right but you can see how this stuff is petrified in the same way the reason why I'm showing you this one is because I've never seen this image before this must be more recent because this part has broken away I mean obviously look a human being can sit in these yes yeah, so they're massive but I pointed these out as being something like a cog yeah, I mean, it's pretty obvious. I mean, look, if I hold a pencil up in front of your face and say, what is this? You're going to say a pencil. So, if, I mean, if, if I were to hold a metal cog up in front of your face and say, what's this? You know, I mean, it's the same thing. 
but you look where it's broken away there because I thought the actual metal itself had petrified but it looks like it's got a layer of this stuff over it and that it's still inside can you see that yeah and it looks like it's literally some type of cog section you know like gears and they get smaller and smaller as they go down I might show you an example later I'll make it actually part of the thumbnail This is Uplastica. Uh, I don't know if it's pronounced like that, but can you see the framework of this stuff here? And how it's rusting away, because obviously they argue that this is rock cut, and we know it's not. You can see more of it inside. You can see the framework here, can't you? And now it's rusting away. Just like here. This here. This is not staining. You know, this is not staining just because it's shaped like this and muck and dirt has been running down here. It's literally the framework, just like it is there, and like I've just shown you. Uh, because inside this portion here, it's the same site. It's in Georgia. Again, they call this rock cut, but if you look at the roof, I'll see if I can zoom in on this actually. No, I can't. Anyway, if you look at the roof, these things are basically leaf springs, you know, uh, thin metal pieces, maybe about four. And then you'll, you know, you'll lay one that way and one from this side, one over from that side, one from that side, and it makes it extremely strong. Leaf springs, like what they use on suspensions for, for you know, for old carts, uh, something like that to help hold this roof up but it's since petrified into that it's not been carved that way has it you're not going to carve leaf springs in the ceiling to help to hold the roof up are you you can see where the rest of the metal has rusted and just left an imprint and you can see the lats on the end of the roof it's i mean it's it's a clear example as what i need to pull out of my ass for you this thing here you can see the lats what it was built from. I mean, this looked like it must have been built from wood or something to me, because you can see the lats on it. They're all at the exact same width. You can see the side wall, right? What used to be a side wall, uh, some kind of connecting beam there. But it's fallen on its side, hasn't it? And since petrified in the mud, which has since ran away, yeah, because it must have been buried in mud for it to petrify in this way. Anything that I show you must and will have been buried under serious pressure from the flood, which were extremely, extremely deep, uh, and then put under pressure and left to petrify in silts and sand for a, a lot longer. And it's ended up looking like this because the videos I made on the dolmens again some of my finest work that I ever made because it opened my mind up to everything that I was pointing out that I was definitely correct you know this will have been a wooden structure to start with and then they smother it in mud the same way that they do today and you can see it under here and because it's been smothered in mud for so long and got damp it's leached into this wood it maybe rots away right it might even rot away completely soaking minerals up as it does and then forms an imprint a shell right but it's the same thing at the end of the day you can see it it's right there it's clear as day you can see this had an inner structure as this mud was smothered on here which has since turned to mud rock this thing here I suppose you could argue that there's been some rebuilding here but maybe not that might have just been caused from uh, I don't know from heat maybe you know from the Sun uh, I'm not quite sure there might have even been a fire in this corner that's caused this cracking it can be a lot of things but I do know one thing the farmer of this field did not lift these huge blocks into shape did he and build this stupid barn that might fall on his head no this is an ancient site obviously right and the reason why uh, 
what I'm saying is this wall will have been one huge solid piece at one time. It will have been built with wooden beams, wooden lats, and then had this stuff smothered over it. Yeah, and over time it cracks in, in its shape. Can it, and the reason why, why we know that is because that crack runs all the way along there. You don't build like that because it, it well, you know, you've got to build in stages, in steps, for something to be strong. Yeah, anybody that can build something like this would not build like that because the, this wall would just push out. And what I'm getting at, it could actually have been, well, it will have been something like this. So, you know, you build a wooden frame and then you smother this type of cladding substance over it. Yeah. And over time, well, if it went, let's say, through a flood and got buried also in silt, it would turn to mud rock and petrify the wood and it would look something like this. Okay? And the reason why you get beams running all the way across, like I just told you, is the same way as this. This is an Iceland Viking longhouse. And you can imagine if this went through the flood, you know, because slate is, is mud rock, isn't it? So imagine putting mud under the kind of pressure that the Great Flood will have been pushing down on things like this, yeah, you know, and then it dried out over time and got, and got buried. It would turn this type of stuff into slate, right? And these roofing things that basically look the same shape as megalithic blocks would also turn into something similar, right? <laughs> the reason why I started with that is because what is this thing here? Now, I'm not stupid, people. I do realise and do know that there are structures around like this that have been, you know, built with clay heated bricks, right? But this, to me, must be something else because this is obviously some type of framing. Well, you don't build a framing to a house with bricks and have spaces in between. You can see where these used to join up at one time, but it's it's since broken. I think this was literally wood. If you think about it sensibly, I'm telling you now, and why is that built like that? This was some type of wooden framing. It had this mud or clay substance smothered into it, which has since turned into what you see today, right? This site here was built in the way I've just told you. Even though areas like this have been built with bricks, right? But, at, you know, at the end of the day, that's a rebuild. That's been done in modern times, you can see that. That, where it's lighter, has been built in modern times, where these brick things, in, including that roof... I don't know about these. 